Hurry, hurry, step this way. One dime, a tenth part of a dollar. We've got the show if you've got the dime. You get the whole show now if you hurry, hurry, hurry. Quick update on the Miller chest rig. All right, one of the big differences on this chest rig uh, versus the prototype is it's uh, quite a bit taller, I guess you'd say. Uh, the old chest rig was uh, stopped at the, the big pocket and then just had an offshoot for a smaller pocket. Instead of having the two pockets that would hang down on each side, I incorporated those uh, right here on the front and uh, they're kind of end to end. These are the same pockets that were on before, just uh, turned horizontally and put end to end. This is uh, the fire, the one that's made for the uh, decon kit, military decon kit, uh, which I use for my fire kit. Quick word on the decon kit. Some guys uh, have said that they can't get these any longer and uh, they're getting pretty rare. So um, don't worry about it though. There's about a bajillion different containers you can get in this size or smaller, something that'll fit in this pocket. This, for example, is a, made by Ball. Uh, this is a company that makes um, canning jars. This is a little Tupperware model, I guess you'd call it. Got a rubber O-ring on it. It's roughly that same size. I got this at my local grocery store. And uh, let me tell you, if I can get it at my local grocery store, you can probably get it about anywhere in the world. So I'm sure if you do some looking and you can't find a decon kit, you can find something that'll work. And you don't have to put your fire kit in there anyway. So. Whatever you want, you can throw in that pocket. Like on the other side, I've got an Altoids tin, and which is my sharpening kit, and an emergency blanket. Two Altoids tins you can fit in there. Whatever you want. Here on the bottom, there's some uh, pal strips. Hook up small pouches, knives, whatever you want there. On this front plate, it's the same uh, pal strips, so you can hook whatever you want. Canteen. Uh, like here, I have a Maxpedition organizer which is actually pretty handy and uh, you know you got all your jazz right there in front. There's still uh, pockets here on the chest rig right up front and it's kind of hard to get to but I wanted to put it in there to show you that uh, you can carry a concealed pistol in those pouches if you want. It's not the best way to carry it but uh, it is there if you need it. I carry it a little bit differently. I just carry it like that. Um, not the securest thing in the world. You don't want to be bending over or taking your chest rig off and throwing it. The pistol will come out. So not the best uh, solution because it's not made for that purpose, but it works if you want to do that. Same thing on the other side of this pocket here. Also behind the tarp pocket, the big pocket, there is a Velcro pocket that goes behind this uh, tarp pocket itself. Or you know, whatever you want, maps, gloves, stocking cap, whatever. Same plate in back that has been there, it's a little bit longer. One other thing I added, which I think is pretty neat, is uh, the ability to carry your knife here in front of the chest rig, kind of like you would a neck knife. Uh, it's got two shock cords, one here and one here, and they just hold the knife um, steady and uh, keep it from falling out. It actually goes through the, the belt loop of your sheath where this uh, chest rig locks. So you have sort of a neck knife solution there if you want it. Once again, you don't have to use it, but it's there if you need it. Also, these small pockets here, are uh, they're open-backed. I don't know if that's the right term or not, but in other words, there's a pocket behind it that goes all the way through. I'll try to slide this machete back behind there. I don't know if it'll work very good because I... Uh, Got an extra strap on it, but just to show you how it, the pockets go all the way through. So you can see, so you can see it goes all the way through, and you know, once again, you can put whatever you want there. It's uh, it's up to you. I don't, it's not really this one isn't really designed for anything specific. It's like a lot, a lot of the places, the pockets in this thing. I just didn't want to sew them up. If it's usable room, I didn't want to just sew it up and not have it be usable anymore. Uh, you can determine what you want to use it for. It's there. If you want it, if not, don't worry about it. So that's it. Um, 
hopefully one of these years <laughs> I'll have uh, time to make some up and put them in the store. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested and I appreciate you watching.